Hey guys, Steve from Les Clements, Black Dragon Kung Fu. Thanks for watching. So this is another uh, continuation on about the staff drill. So this time, uh, I'm going to cover a different expression of the staff. So I've talked a little bit about the tiger staff so far with a symmetrical grip. Then I've talked about the snake style and how they begin in the snake style with the asymmetrical grip and the difference between those two grips, right? So then we talked about the snake with the sliding, right? And the surviving the bite, biker's bite. Uh, I fully explained that in the last video. So now I'm gonna discuss a, a magnificent creature and how we bring this into the staff, right? Now keep in mind, again, the staff is wood. Our bodies are electromagnetic, potentially, once we get to develop that charge. Now that charge is going into the staff and the expression of the crane dragon, the snake, whichever one we're doing is coming through that wood element, right? Okay, this is the concept, asymmetrical grip. So <clears throat> the one we're talking about here today with the staff is crane, white crane staff. So crane staff, you gotta remember the staffs or the weapons are extensions of the hands. So crane is gonna be doing a lot of long motions, remember, Crane is a creature that keeps distance. The crane is the master of range. So he can stay a long way away. Very, very difficult to hit. So that move that I'm doing represents the crane's wing slashing back and forth, right? It's here. You see a smaller version of this in the Wing Chun staff. Uh, this is still long range stuff, but crane is long range. And this staff for crane is really short. But the reason I'm using it, as I explained before, is in this space, I want to respect the space that I have here. If it was a long staff, I wouldn't be able to do these moves. Uh, it wouldn't quite have enough room. So with crane staff, we're going to be using our wing. You have to understand the crane's wing. So the crane's wing can work like this. It's this concept of spiraling the hand in tandem with the staff. So just the hand motion would look like this. So crane is exact lines, okay, straight out, straight line, or forward, twist, right, straight. You see elements of snake and crane and wing shun all over the place, fu sao, tan sao, uh, all bong sao. So those are pieces that have been configured into a smaller system of wing shun, very strong system that catches a bad rap, I can get into that later on another video. But for now, the power of the staff and the way the white crane stars is just like the snake with the asymmetrical grip, right? But the difference is air. Now the snake is gonna have the watery movement, right? Real watery stuff, real sloth sliding. Now the crane can do all that stuff too as an aquatic creature, so it's just as well in the water as on land, okay? It's just, it's default. It's going to be precision with lines and leverage and range, distortion. So what a crane is very good at doing is appearing that it's further away than it is or closer than it is. So if it's attacked, it forces the opponent to have really good judgment of range. So if you do not understand uh, how to fully uh, attack, which is never a bad, I a, a good idea, unless you're being attacked and you want to shut it down with an overwhelming defense. Aggressively attacking is never a good idea when you have an opponent who is still and waiting. It's just not a good idea. History is proven time and time again. Doesn't mean you won't win, or doesn't mean you'll lose. It's just not as easy because the opponent has an advantage. He can do all types of things. He can move away. You know, he could surprise you from a still position, and that's what the crane does. The crane uses its stillness to hide its power. So here's what I mean. The crane will put itself in positions where it seems to be extremely vulnerable, right? Like the crane will turn its, it will turn its back this way, but as it turns its back, this is blocking a blade. The staff is blocking the blade. Now, a wooden staff blocking a blade? No, I'm talking about a combat, I'm talking about an iron staff, okay? This is just, we're replicating that here. 
See, so they can, the crane can turn its back and be protected against the sword, right? This way. Now, the crane is gonna replicate this with a wing. See, so yes, we are starting with the default asymmetrical grip, but we're also gonna use the wing grip, the side wing grip. So one of the wings has the staff like this, see? So here's the technique. I practice making a circle. I can go around, I can go back. So from the back, the staff could be blocking, could be blocking my low back from an attack, or it could be blocking my head from the back. Someone goes to hit with a sword and block here, iron staff or here, be blocking. Now, not only that, from this wing position, I can hit with this, hit with this hard from using crane. See, crane's wing one, wing two brings the staff. <sighs> See, I can also power assist this off the body. Slide, boom, there's your asymmetrical grip. Crane slides, step back, long, 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 long range. See, here's that distortion of range with crane. So watch, without moving my hands, I'm right here. I couldn't touch this camera. I couldn't even get close to it. Now watch if I use the crane slide. See that range increase here? Long range. Okay, I'm sliding. So, an opponent sees this position and sees this, and if he's right where the camera is, it looks like he can't hit you, right? One, see, two, three. See, I'm missing the camera with all three of those because I'm too far away. Now watch what happens, I'm gonna tap the camera. Same distance, one, two, three. Let me get where I really can't reach it. Two, three, now here we go. See that very last one? I just let it slide further and I got about 10 to 12 more inches out of that. A lot more range. So the crane is the master of distortion of range capability. So the crane is gonna manipulate the range in a way that is very hard to predict because we don't know where he's at or she, especially a mother crane guarding her eggs. Watch that, I've been looking for cranes. I was at the river today. You saw another video I had and I didn't see any cranes, but I was asking around and hopefully I can find one because if I do, I'm gonna make a video and I'm gonna see if I can get near it just enough to photograph it or to videotape it. If it will allow it, it's gonna be aware of my presence. So anyway, you see the difference. So Crane's staff is gonna start with the, asym with the asymmetrical grip, which means unequal proportion, rather than the symmetrical grip, which is equal proportion. Equal, unequal, okay? Tiger was here, snake was here, Crane is here, but Crane is also here. Wing, see? So crane will work a staff like this, right? This is a long wing, or it can go, it can go this way, see? So it can roll this off the body, it can come through, it can come around the head, over, back. There's really not much limit to where the crane can go. Another simple technique. Crane likes to pull the staff over its back, see? It bows its back and its wings and the staff comes right over the top, right? So we're talking about bringing the energy of crane through a human body, right? Obviously, like I say before, snakes don't have hands to grab a staff. Crane doesn't have hands to grab a staff. But the person who practices these arts does and we're exuding the spirit of the creature and the framework through our wooden conductor, which is earth, and our Shaolin movement that we are so lucky to have as practice. And hats off to all the monks around the world, especially the fighting monks of Shaolin, 
Hindu monks, all these these wonderful monks and nuns who are chanting, holding all the peace together. So hats off to them. All right, so remember with Crane, asymmetrical grip, side wing technique right here. The side wing, we can whip this off the body in all kinds of different ways. We can bring it down off the shoulder. So there's no end to it. Uh, the Crane is also a big fan of neck rolls, right? So there's ways to roll the staff all the way around the neck, even without the hands. There's all types of stuff the crane is capable of. And we'll get into more of those later. But right now, this is just another basic little one-on-one -on -one intro into white crane staff. So I hope you like this video. If you do, go ahead and click on that like button. And uh, even better if you could subscribe. Sifu Les Clements, out. Be safe.